then I got fat shamed by my favorite TV show. During COVID, I was just binge watching all the time, right? And I got the Disney Plus. So I watched all the Simpsons. And I was telling people it was during season seven. <laughs> that is a rib eating bit. That's a state fair, baby. And a nerd yelled season eight. And here's the thing about nerds. Like if a dude can get his confidence up to yell at me from the dark, I'm gonna believe that dude. That's how nerdiness works. So season eight of The Simpsons, Homer is the fattest he's ever been. And at one point, I remember he wears the moo moo and gets the fat guy hat. At one point he weighs himself we both weighed the exact same thing that day. And I was like, fuck you, The Simpsons. I thought we were friends. And it's not, it's not that I couldn't wipe my ass, but it's gotten harder. And I think it's a trifecta of things. It's the weight gain, it's also me getting older and just being out of shape. But during COVID, I suddenly realized one day when I was at my heaviest, that it was a lot harder for me to wipe my ass. Like to really get down in there, which you have to, you know? I'd have to lift the balls and then like pop my shoulder out. And then pop it back in like Lethal Weapon 2, just like. God, I hope I only have to shit twice today. <laughs> I don't know if my shoulder is gonna hold up to that kind of damage for much longer. <laughs> I have an Audi belly button. Why don't you ride a bicycle three or four times a week for an hour at a time? I said, I'll tell you why not. By the penis. <laughs> Super sweet combination. Just so you know, because I'm nervous, I haven't been here in a while and I'm doing a special, there's high stakes. Right now, my penis looks like a Sharpay trying to hide from fireworks. <laughs> like the neighbor kids letting out firecrackers. <laughs> this poor little Sharpay's trying to hide in the curtains. Just... <laughs> That's what my dick looks like right now. <laughs> I'm super good at visuals. And I got the Audi, I hate the Audi. It always, like I said, it looks, it gets worse as I get heavier. And the worst is going through TSA. Those guys give me shit all the time. I just happened twice now where the TSA dude touched it. Total violation. I've never felt so terrible. Happened once before COVID and once recently, it was right after COVID. Like I said, I'm the heaviest. I'm sitting in my uh, backyard four in the morning, I do a little wake and bake. Uber shows up, take me to the airport. I fall asleep in the Uber. I wouldn't recommend that to any of you. <laughs> but I feel like if a dude wants to do something terrible with me, he's got to involve another person. <laughs> he's gonna have to have an accomplice to get me into his shitty apartment. Or the open grave he's set up for me. He can't do that shit solo. So I feel like I can sleep in an Uber. I get out of the Uber and I cruise into the airport and I go through the total recall machine. And as soon as I come out, this dude's got an agenda. He goes right for it. He goes, sir, what's this? Bink. And I'm like, it's my body. <laughs> but really, what was I supposed to say? <laughs> Popping fresh callback. <laughs> Fuck you, TSA dude.